Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum, dear fourth year students. Today, the topic of our discussion is The Eclipse, uh, written by Virginia Woolf. In this essay, Virginia Woolf is going to describe or depict the, the moments of the eclipse. Uh, she is going to talk about the solar eclipse, that is, the eclipse of the sun. And uh, in this essay, she will give us the um, um, how people were feeling about the eclipse, how they were behaving towards the phenomena of eclipse, how excited they were, what were their attitudes towards the eclipse, um, and she's also going to tell us the graphic to give us the graphic picture of the solar eclipse. That is um, how it started, uh, uh, how it, it affected affected the surroundings, um, how it looked, uh, what was the scene at that, at that time and uh, such kind of things she is going to discuss. You will see as we go on with the text. Let's start or begin with the text. Never was there a stranger purpose than that which brought us together that two night in Houston railway station. She says that uh, before this, there, there wasn't ever seen a strange purpose that she is going to give us, give it a name of strange purpose that they, they had, uh, they were uh, together uh, that June night. So it means that the it, a solar eclipse happened in in the night, in one of the night in June in Houston railway station. So they were um, together. They gathered over there. Uh, for a strange purpose or obviously and what was that purpose she will tell us uh, in the coming lines we were come to see the dawn so they had come to see the dawn trains so the uh, time of the eclipse was the dawn trains like our were starting all over england at that very moment to see the dawn uh, so she is going to tell us that um, they were traveling through train and many other trains were also traveling uh, all over England uh, to see the town at that time. All noses were pointing north. All of the uh, people were heading towards north. When for a moment we halted in the depths of the country, there were the pale yellow lights of motor cars also pointing north. So she is going to tell us that uh, uh, when they, they, they reached the depths of the country, uh, they could see pale yellow lights of motor cars, not only trains but also motor cars uh, were uh, pointing towards north, that is uh, people were traveling to see the dawn uh, or the solar eclipse, not only on, they were coming not only by trains but also by motor cars or through their personal conveyance. There was no sleep, no fixity in England that time, that night. Though night is a time of calmness uh, and uh, night is the time where, when everything gets fixed in its place, it, it's the time to sleep. But at that night of June, there was no sleep, no fixity in England that night. So what is the um, exact location of the, uh, the solar eclipse that is in England? People, she is uh, telling us about the people of England, how they were behaving, how they were, um, they were excited uh, to see the solar eclipse in, uh, at the dawn time. All were on the roads. All people were on the road. So there was no fixity means that no one was at home. All were on the roads to see the lone, uh, solar eclipse. All were traveling north. Fine. All were thinking of the dawn and everybody was thinking about the dawn. What will happen at the time of the dawn? As the night wore on, as, as, as soon as the night passed, as uh, uh, passed means that as, uh, as the time passed away, the sky which was the object of so many million thoughts assumed greater substance and prominence than usual. As the time was passing, the sky uh, which was already, which had already become 
the center of uh, uh, center of reflection center of um, uh, attention uh, for all of the people uh, it 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 um, gained more importance as the time passed because uh, it was the night time and the time of the solar eclipse was of dawn so as soon as the time was pass passing the time of solar eclipse was uh, coming uh, coming nearer and nearer therefore Mm, the sky got more and more prominent with the passing time the consciousness of the whitey soft canopy above us increased in weight as the hours passed so uh, people uh, got more conscious of the sky above them uh, because um, uh, it was the, the dawn was approaching and uh, the sky was getting whitish from black uh, because of the Uh, being uh, because of its uh, dawn being a dawn time that is it's getting um, uh, towards the day time it was getting towards the gate time day time when in chill early morning we were turned out on a yorkshire roadside our senses had oriented themselves differently from usual so their senses were they were uh, turn, turning out on a yorkshire uh, uh, road side and uh, she tells us the, that the senses of the people were um, feeling uh, feeling different from usual we were no longer in the same relation to people houses and trees uh, as they were talking uh, not in a routine uh, with a sense of routine rather they were in different relation uh, uh, to people houses and trees we were related to the whole world so actually the phenomena which they uh, which uh, which they were uh, going to see or watch together that phenomena was a uh, worldly phenomena that was a universal phenomena uh, so um, uh, individuality didn't mean at all at that time it didn't matter at all at that time uh, they were actually related to the whole world that how will the solar eclipse uh, affect the whole world we had come not to lodge in the bedroom of an inn we were come for a a uh, new few hours of disembodied intercourse with the sky because they these people were not uh, um, they were not traveling together they hadn't they hadn't gathered uh, over there uh, to to uh, to have some celebration uh, in the inn to lodge somewhere to rest in the bedroom of an inn actually what was their purpose their purpose was to intercourse with the sky and that inter intercourse that interaction that communication with the sky was december it means it was not physical it was just uh, they were not having any uh, physical contact with the sky but they were uh, they were uh, trying to talk with the sky you can see and to uh, to let the sky talk to them everything was very pale so at that time everything was Uh, looking pale pale means yellow the river was pale and the fields brimming with grasses and tassel flowers which should have been red had no color in them so these things were not having any color they they it felt that they didn't have any color at that time and everything was pale river was also pale because it wasn't a pure light bright daylight it was getting yellowish and yellowish as the dawn um, came um, came nearer as the dawn approached but lay there whispering and waving round colorless farm houses and and around they saw some colorless farm houses now the farm house door would open and out would step to join the procession the farmer and his family in their sunday clothes uh, neat dark and silent as if they were going up hill to church so uh, as soon as they passed by uh, the, the procession of the people who were um, uh, heading towards north who were traveling in trains who were traveling in cars they saw uh, uh, people coming out of the farm houses and what were uh, the, the, the the people would open the door of the uh, farm houses and they would come out to join the procession and uh, these people obviously who are coming out of the farm houses are the farmers and their families and it felt that they were wearing their sunday clothes and they were heading towards church or sometimes women merely lent on the window uh, sills of the upper rooms watching the procession pass with amused contempt it appeared they were come they have come such hundreds of miles and for what so the, some of the ladies were 
coming, uh, peeping uh, through the windows uh, and they were watching the procession go towards north and they were just uh, uh, just pondering uh, with contempt with uh, that as if they were not not believing why have people gathered hundreds for hundreds of miles and uh, for what they are going they seem to say in complete silence it, it felt that there there was question there was curiosity in their eyes when they saw the procession pass uh, by them we had an odd sense of keeping an appointment with an actor of such vast proportions that he would come silently and be everywhere. So um, it felt, Virginia Woolf says that it felt that we were keeping an appointment with an actor. She is going to compare the sun uh, with an actor. Uh, she is going to give us us um, a metaphor. She is going to use a metaphor here that she had that the sun is an actor. I felt. She felt that the sun is an actor, and they are the people are going to have an appointment with with him. And uh, that actor, it felt that that actor would come silently and be everywhere, and it will be seen. It would appear silently, and it would be seen by ev uh, by every person and everywhere in the world. By the time we were at the meeting place on a high fell, where. The hills stretched their limbs out over the uh, flowing brown moorland below. We had put on two, though we were cold and with our feet stood in red bog water were likely to be still colder, though some of us were squatted on uh, Macintosh among cups and plates, eating and uh, others were fantastically accoutred and none were at their best still. We had put on a certain dignity. She tells us that by some time they, they reached the place which was the meeting place and this meeting place was on a high fell, on a high mountain, on a high hill where the hills stretched their limbs out over the flowing brown moorland below. And uh, it was stretched, this, this, um, uh, this top of the uh, hill that was stretched uh, as if it had limbs, it had branches um, flowing around uh, and uh, below there was moorland, we had put on two though we were cold and she says that we were feeling cold and it uh, and with our feet stood in red bog water were likely to be still colder and she says that we were feeling even still colder uh, with uh, because our, our feet were our feet were um, um, dipped or um, in the red bog water and uh, though some of us were squatted on uh, Macintosh shows uh, um, Macin Macintosh uh, among cups and plates. Some of the people were wearing long, long coats and they were sitting uh, uh, on, uh, on the top of the hill and they were having uh, cups and plates and they were eating and they were, uh, some of the people were fantastically, very beautifully dressed and um, none were at their best. And uh, still uh, nobody had any importance at that time. Whatever one wore, whatever uh, how how uh, uh, how well dressed he or she was, it, it didn't matter because uh, still we had put on a certain dignity. Uh, they had a, a kind of uh, certain dignity, but but the dignity was it didn't matter what they were wearing, and uh, rather perhaps we had put off the little badges and signs of individuality because uh, the, uh, as the purpose was uh, universal, the purpose was to see uh, the the sun. Ha um, um, means or with bearing the eclipse, uh, so they their own dignity, their own individuality, their badges, their signs of individuality, they didn't, they didn't matter. All of them, it it felt that all of them had put off, they had removed their badges and signs of individuality. We were sprung out against the sky in outline and had the look of statues standing prominent on the ridge of the world. She says that we were standing. Uh, as if and, and if anyone looked to uh, look looked at us we we looked as if the statues were standing prominent on the ridge of the world on the brim of the world and uh, uh, and what were the figures the figures of the uh, people standing on the hill was it was just like an outline so if she uh, here in these lines in in this paragraph rather virginia wolf is trying to tell us that that human dignity, human appearance, human uh, position, or uh, nothing matters. That nothing matters at all in front of the uh, human heavenly phenom phenomena, like uh, and heavenly bodies, like sun 
and the eclipse and everything so they were uh, they were being felt the people standing on the hill they were being felt just like an outline meager minor meaningless things in in front of the heavenly bodies we were very very old we were men and women of the um, uh, uh, primeval world come to salute the dawn and uh, it felt that we were as uh, there were old people there were men they were women and all had gathered to um, and, and and they it felt that they were they belonged to an a very old world a very ancient world and they had come to salute the dawn they had come to uh, give an honor honor to the dawn Uh, so the worshippers at Stonehenge must have looked amongst tussocks of grass and boulders of rock. Um, he, uh, she gives us a simile and she compares that the people of the old age, people of the Stonehenge age, must also uh, have looked like like we were. Uh, we 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 looked. Uh, we were looking uh, at that time to see the eclipse. And uh, suddenly, from the motor car of some Yorkshire squire, there bounded uh, four large lean and dog. Dogs, red dogs, hounds of the ancient world, hunting dogs. They, they seem leaping with their noses close to the ground on the track of boar or bear. So uh, she tells us that one of out of one of the cars, um, uh, there appeared four dogs. They were red dogs. They were hounds, and they were they were uh, uh, they were following the track of some boar or deer. They were smelling the track of some boar or deer. It means that not only people were there, but also they had brought their pets with them. Meanwhile, the sun was rising. Now it was the moment when the sun was rising. A cloud glowed as a white shade glows when the light is slowly turned up behind it. A cloud glowed means that uh, it felt that a light, a cloud was lit, as if a uh, uh, light peeps through some shade. It it felt like that. Golden wedge shaped streams fell from it, and uh, golden wedge shaped stream streamers streamers. What were the streamers? Obviously, these were the um, uh, sun rays. These were the sun rays which looked behind from it and marked the trees in the valley green and the villages blue brown, and uh, valley valley looked green and the villages uh, the the blue villages and uh, blue and brown villages it. It fell upon the light, fell fell upon the green valley and the uh, blue brown villages. In the sky behind, as there were uh, swam white islands and pale pale blue lake. And in the sky behind, as there swam, uh, and it felt that uh, uh, in the sky the clouds felt as if the pale blue islands were swimming in the blue lake. Uh, so clouds felt in the uh, were uh, looked in the sky as if. The pale blue lakes uh, are uh, swimming in the uh, in the uh, in the sorry uh, the, the um, white islands are swimming in the pale blue uh, lake. The sky was open and free there. There the sky was open, but in front of us a soft snow bank had massed itself. But in, in right in front of us there was a soft snow bank means a. a, a Thick cloud in front of us. Um, yet, as we like, we saw it proving worn and thin in patches. And we uh, we we liked we it was it was uh, good to see that the same thick cloud was worn and thin. It uh, it was broken into patches. The gold uh, momentarily increased. Now the gold means the. the sun rays momentarily increased the intensity of the sun rays the brightness of the sun rays was uh, increased melting the whiteness to a fiery gauze and this grew frailer and frailer and now the the um, the whiteness of the clouds was um, melting like a uh, melting uh, to a fiery gauze um, whiteness to a fiery gauze and this grew frailer and frailer till for one instant we saw the sun in full splendor now the uh, whiteness of the clouds now the sun is uh, behaving as if a master uh, to um, it is influencing the clouds to to spread far away to spread into pieces to cut into pieces and and to melt and to dissolve in the sky it is uh, making the clouds to disappear now the sun uh, succeeded to make the clouds disappear uh, until we saw the sun in full splendor now the sun was seen in full splendor it was uh, uh, shining fully bright then there was a pause now it there was a pause 
uh, a moment of suspense now it was suspense was created what will happen next like that which precedes a race and it was a suspense as if, as if what would happen in a race mm, so it was like a race between the, the the clouds and the sun so now it was the suspense when it it got a pause it felt if uh, as if uh, we had got a suspense the starter held his watch in his hand uh, counting the seconds now they were off so the starters uh, who um, uh, it felt ad- as if the uh, starters in the race they held their watch in his in his hand and he is going to count the seconds now now they were off the sun had to race through the clouds now he is going to dip- give the picture of the race between the clouds and the sun the sun had to race through the clouds and to reach the goal obviously the sun had to race through the clouds the sun to to show itself it has to race through the clouds it had it has to peep through the clouds because the sun is above and the clouds are down and to reach the goal which was a thin transparency to the right before the sacred seconds were up what were the sacred seconds the seconds of the solar eclipse and uh, which was a thin transparency to the right and towards the right side thin transparency uh, was there and through that transparency uh, 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 the people could see the solar eclipse he started now he started he is the sun the clouds flung every obstacle in his way uh the clouds uh, they they clung they impeded the clouds tried their hard to to create every obstacle to create any uh, any uh, we can say um, any uh, any obstacle any boulder boulder in in its way the clung they clung they impeded they uh, he dashed through them uh, the clouds clung they impeded they stopped they clung but uh, what did the sun do he dashed through them uh, he could be felt still it could be seen it it ran through them it peeped through them it crossed through them and it could be felt flashing and flying when he was invis- when he was invisible and when whenever the sun got invisible we could see the people could see its flashes and in they could see uh, uh, as if its uh, its rays are flying in the sky his speed was tremendous the speed of the sun was really very great it was very speedy here he he was out and bright now sometimes we we could see the sun at uh, as very very uh, bright and very clear now he was under and lost and sometimes we we saw the uh, the sun as if it was quite under the clouds and it was lost it was quite disappeared so a kind of race was going on between the clouds and the sky and the sun the clouds tried to hide the sun and the sun tried to uh, struggle hard to, uh, to to be seen through the clouds but always one uh, one felt felt him flying and thrusting through the murk to his goal but but this is quite certain that either it was uh, clearly seen or it was hidden behind the clouds it it is sure it is certain that it was still flying people could still see it flying and thrusting through the murk uh, through the thick clouds uh, uh, we, the people felt they could see they could feel they could feel that it was flying somewhere behind the uh, clouds and it was thrusting hard it was struggling hard to uh, to uh, to be seen through the to struggle through the mark mark means means the the density and the dense clouds to its to his goal but was his goal that the the thin transparency through which it could be seen for one second the, he emerged and showed itself himself to us through our glasses in one second it it emerged means it it got um, explicit it appeared and uh, it showed itself through through the glasses of the people a hollowed sun uh, and that sun was quite hollowed it was uh, a crescent sun it was dark sun it was hollowed sun it as if it it didn't have uh, some um, some mass in it as if it was quite uh, um, uh, quite dull dull type of sun 
finally he went under for his last effort for last effort he went under the clouds now he was completely blotted out now it was completely blotted out it was completely darker now the moments passed now the moments of the uh, solar eclipse passed watches were held in hand after hand people were watching the watch uh, held holding the watches in their hand the moments uh, the the sacred 24 seconds were begun now uh, it was the time of the uh, exactly uh, uh, for the solar eclipse to uh, to occur and these were 24 seconds and uh, virginia wolf calls it uh, sacred because Many of the people they worship sun. That's why uh, the eclipse of the sun matters to them, um, uh, and they, uh, she is she is giving it uh, the name of sacred 24 hours. Unless he could win through before the last one was over, unless uh, the sun could win through, it could have um, it could win the game uh, in the last last one uh, one second. Um, uh, he was lost before it could win the game. It was lost. Still, one left him tearing and racing behind the clouds to win free. And still, people could feel that it was. Uh, though it wasn't uh, wasn't in front of the people the people couldn't see it at all still they could feel they could feel that it was tearing and racing behind the clouds somewhere to win win the game and to to let free from the clouds but the clouds held him but the clouds were were holding him uh, they uh, they spread they thicken the clouds spread they got thickened they slackened and muffled his speed and they try and as they were so dense and thick they it, they they uh, decreased its uh, speed uh, of the 24 seconds only five remained now out of the 24 seconds only five seconds were remained they were remaining and still he was obscure and still it was it was obscured it was dull it was uh, hidden uh, it was shadowed and as the fatal seconds passed you know, and now she gives the metaphor of fatal seconds before it uh, she gave it the metaphor of uh, sacred seconds because sacred seconds means as people who worshippers of the uh, of sun uh, they they will take this event as sacred uh, on the other hand and they are these seconds are fatal also because they are these seconds are the seconds of uh, the downfall of the sun the the dead uh, the deadness of the sun these are the deathly hours for the sun as the, uh, the sun is obscured it has got dark and black and we, we realized that the sun was being defeated and people were feeling virginia will says that we were feeling that uh, as if the sun has been defeated and had now indeed lost the race and that the uh, sun has now lost the race um, from the um, uh, clouds all the color began to go now what happened what was the effect of this eclipse this shadow this obscurity on the uh, on on the things around all color began to go so all color disappeared from the moon from the moor means the, the, the place where they were standing the valley the 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 hilly area whatever the blue turned to purple now what happened whatever was felt well, uh, felt to be blue actually in original it turned to purple it it changed its color to purple the white began became livid the white color uh, turned into livid as at the approach of a violent but windless storm as if some violent and wind windless storm has come pink faces were uh, went went green now pink things pink faces of the people went green the the, the color of the faces went green and it became colder than ever and now what happened uh, uh, about the weather uh, is that the weather uh, got colder and colder this was the defeat of the sun then and this was all and this was all so we thought turning uh, disappointment appointment from dull cloud blanket in front of us uh, the moors behind and uh, now every everywhere uh, it it felt disappointment it felt that everything is now dull and uh, um, it it felt as if disappointment in, uh, or hopelessness is spread everywhere they were livid what were about the clouds the clouds uh, were livid they were purple now suddenly well became aware that something more was uh, about to happen and it felt it they felt uh, that something more was uh, going to happen something ex unexpected awful unavoidable uh, they felt that some 
some such thing would happen which is quite unexpected which will be quite awful fearful and which which they could not control the shadow growing darker and darker over the uh, moor the shadows of the people the things and each and everything the shadow of the sun the the um, dark sun the uh, we can say the dull sun um, and the shadowed sun and that was growing darker and dar darker so it it got darker and darker on the moor was the the healing over a boat which instead of writing itself the critical moments little further sorry